want justice. We want justice. We want justice. Bihar Sarkar. Bihar Sarkar. We want justice. We want justice. Suicide of a healer is in fact the death of thousand whom he would have cured if lived. Enough gems have been lost. Thus it is now time to act. We have to be vigilant and proactive especially at the level of medical college administration to prevent such calamities from happening. Om Santi. Rest in peace Raju Ranjan. News of recent suicide by a young student, a bright student of JL and MCH, Rajiv Ranjan, has elicited the need to highlight an issue which has been neglected despite its gravity. Suicide in medical professionals, once looked upon as an unthinkable act, has become increasingly prevalent in our society, more so in medical students. Earlier this year, society look up health care professionals to save the patient's life. What then driven a health care professional to bring off suicide? Suicide is a global phenomena, yearly taking away lives of nearly 8 lakh individuals as a per the World Health Organization. Every 40 seconds, we lose a person to suicide. The suicide mortality rate in India is 16.3 per 1 lakh population, compared to the global average of 10.6. According to National Medical Health Survey 2016 NMHS, the treatment gap for medical health care is alarming more than 80% in India. This is improving compared to the past decade but the gap remains and this also affects behavioral behavior which when it comes to seeking treatment others burn out this deteriorating academic and clinical performance and impairment in learning abilities all these add to already existing depression and start a vicious cycle which is not checked and may result in tragedies as soon before. Multiple studies carried out in developing countries point towards an urgent need to look into the issue thoroughly and analyze the factors contributing to it. Determine what is causing a marked surge in suicide among medical students and suggest steps that can save medical students from taking their lives rather than saving others. Medical education is characteristically difficult and stressful task. Undergraduate medical training is associated with high parental hopes, financial constraints, peer pressure, lack of leisure time and relationship discord. This is in conjugation with the prodigious curriculum burden along with the commitment that the medical students demand. Puts the students at risk of falling victim to depression, the leading cause of suicide worldwide. Depression is an element which often remains undiagnosed, the, responsible for a high rate of suicide. Studies have indicated that medical undergraduates face a tremendous amount of stress leading to depression and even suicidal thoughts. Stress and depression have been linked to negative effects on mental and physical health sleeping have highlighted the prevalence of stress among medical students and have emphasized the role of academics, academics as one of the significant stressors. In Rajiv Ranjan's case, um, there you can see life was pressurized from her, his apartment. So 
all these academic stressors also play a key role in depressing the, those students however stress alone should not be held responsible for such calamities social and emotional and physical as well as family problems also play a substantial role and sources of stress include not only curriculum burden but also personal competence interpersonal relationship peer pressure personal endurance and most importantly unavailability of emotional and psychological support teacher students discord though working routine as well as lack of appro appreciate and encouragement are known to play a pivotal role depression is not something unusual it is a disease and like any other element is treatable and must be cured suicide is not a solution and is preventable with timely intervention of stressors and cause of depression among medical students and doctors as men's been been known creating awareness is timely rectification and prevent drastic steps like suicide it changes begin at home the preliminary and most important steps in avoiding such incidents should be emotional and psychological support to the students by the family not only should the children be encouraged from a younger age to develop the habit of sharing their challenges with their parents siblings but the family should also reach out and try to make a strong communication and bonds with them this is particularly important for medical students living in hostel far away from the comfort of home who do not frequently get to interact with their families who do not frequently get to interact with their families it is responsibility of family to reach out to them extend emotional and psychological support suicide is not just killing it is a murder that we all commit as a society and hence we all should play a role and keep an eye out to detect problems suffering from depression lend a helping hand and encourage the affected from attaining medical assistant as early as possible ensure that such students are not going through any sort of mental stress or depression students living in hostel smiles away from their families such students get exposed to a new learning environment and get to interact with the peers from diverse cultural and socio economic background and a new system of education which may prove to be very stressful hence good family bond is essential for adequate stress management and stress personality development each of which prevent one from falling into hands of depression importantly the role of family doesn't in at listening to students problem they need to listen and observe seriously and act on even trivial behavior changes as the earlier you start working on rooting out the cause a few good friends to whom one can turn to need can be of great help students must be encouraged to come out of their cell and develop the habit of sharing their problems to people they trust this helps in preventing the building of stress and lightens the burden and sense of hopelessness and helplessness many medical students residents and doctors lead a terrible lifestyle it is one of the most stressful professional professions of modern times and has become increasingly difficult due to the pandemic even doc even doctors need their own private time and a work life balance like to rest of us students begin by taking tough exams but even once they pass the test the stress in their life continues if you are suffering from serious emotional strains or suicidal thoughts do not hesitate to seek a professional help you can find information on where to find such help no matter where you live in the world at this website http://www.befrienders.org/ thank you and i hope like rest in peace rajiv ranjan